Hey guys, this is David with Trade School Consulting and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about sales and how we go about uh, driving our sales in order to pick up clients and get uh, business. So a, a big question that a lot of people have, whether you've been in the business one year, two years, five years, ten, uh, is how do you continually get business so that you're not slowing down or have those ebbs and flows where you get super busy and could probably run two or three crews at once and then you get to the point where you're losing guys because you can't keep your work, uh, your work schedule full. And so uh, how to maintain that consistency is key. Um, and so that's what I wanted to talk to you about in this video. I think uh, first off, let's name some avenues of marketing that you can be using to keep those consistent uh, leads flowing in. So uh, first off, you wanna look at all of your social medias. So Instagram, Nextdoor, LinkedIn, Facebook uh, are all great ways to market towards a potential client and it's a great extra touch on top of whatever else that you're doing. Some of the other things that you can be doing is passing out yard signs, passing out door hangers, uh, print marketing material is going to be your friend here. So especially if you're on a budget, um, sometimes time is something that you can offer up as a, as a commodity to trade um, where others may not you know, have that, that luxury in their business right now where time is an option to trade. So if, if it's not, and what I mean by that is if you don't have the time to go pass out door hangers and uh, trade off that time with the, the return that you'll be getting back with your revenue, if you don't have that time, maybe you need to look at an alternate avenue that takes up less of your time to distribute. And so then you would be looking at stuff like Google ads and AdWords. You would also look at direct mail campaigns, every door direct mail campaigns, uh, email campaigns, ringless voicemail campaigns. So I just named off about five or six there that you could use um, as different marketing avenues, whether it's on a budget or whether you have you know eight thousand dollars a month to spend on your on your marketing uh within those you know six seven eight things you should be able to find what's going to be best for you and what you're seeing your return is going to be in the area that you service so uh, i want to dive into a couple of those things a little bit deeper i'd like to start with ringless voicemails because a lot of people don't know about a ringless voicemail and when it's brought up the first question is what is a ringless voicemail so ringless voicemails, and if you haven't gotten one on your phone before, it essentially will leave a voicemail on a cell phone without it ever ringing and giving the customer or client an opportunity to pick up the phone. And so what happens is they look down at their phone and they see that they've missed a call and there's a voicemail on their phone. So one of two things happens at that point. They are both, both of those things are awesome because it's going to be an action item. They're going to take action on your ringless voicemail almost immediately. So two things are going to happen. One, that person is going to check out the voicemail and make a decision then whether they wanna call you back or not, or they're gonna look down at their phone, they're gonna realize that they have a missed call, and they're gonna immediately click that number and call you right back. And that gives you the opportunity to talk to them and explain to them your services and how you can bring convenience to their life. And so with ringless voicemails, uh, the big thing is making sure that you have a good solid foundation for when they call a, a script if you will so that when they do call in you know how to handle that customer because what you don't want to do is start listing off what a ringless voicemail is how you got their contact information or explaining you know what it is that you're doing what you want to talk about is the service that you can provide for them and what the convenience factor is there so if you give a ringless voicemail out for gutter cleanings and someone calls you back and they say, hey, how did you get this number? Hey, thanks Tom for giving us a call back. The reason I was giving you a call back is my name is David and I'm with Peach State Pressure Washing. We're doing gutter cleanings in your area and we were interested to find out if you were uh, interested in a free gutter clean. And, and at that point, they'll either say no and hang up on you. They could say no and be polite and get off the phone or they're gonna say yes, I am interested in a free estimate. I'm glad you guys called, this was convenient for me. And so that's what you wanna do with a ringless voicemail. Now here's the cool thing. A ringless voicemail, you can actually go and buy the data, right? So if you don't have phone numbers, cell phone numbers um, and names for everybody that you wanna put into a ringless voicemail campaign, or you don't have a huge client list because you haven't been in business that long, then go to Dope Marketing, right? You can go to dope360.com and you can actually ask to purchase the data there. 
You can purchase cell phone numbers and email addresses right there from the top zip codes in your area, the top income in your area, the top home values in your area. You can filter those down, find out a list that you want, buy that list. Now here's the cool part about it. The list, if you get it and, and ask for it, you can get cell phone numbers and emails on there. So not only can you do an email campaign, do a ringless voicemail campaign, do a direct mail marketing, so send some type of postcard or EDDM, something like that. You can do some type of postcard campaign to them. That fourth and fifth touch, so in addition to those, you can also take the phone numbers and the um, email addresses and create a custom audience within Facebook and then market a Facebook ad towards that custom audience. And so you're getting another touch on top of whatever your Google ads is, your guard signs, your door hangers, all of these other things that you may be doing. You can simply take a list and out of that list, you can get four touches easily. So um, a little bit about, about ringless voicemails, about postcards and things like that. Um, the other thing is find a, find a system that works for you. We use Dope360.com. Uh, you can use another service if you want. I've tried to personally do EDDM and it doesn't, uh, it's not that it doesn't work. It's that it's very time consuming. There's a lot of effort that goes into it. And at some point you realize that you have less time in the day than you did when you began the company. And it's worth a certain amount of dollars for you not to lose that time in the day. And so EDDM becomes something where you might want to switch it over to a system like dope360.com to be able to help you out with that kind of stuff. Um, the other things are, are you know, SEO. Uh, a lot of people ask me about SEO. The one thing I will say about SEO, and you need to have it, I understand that. I'm not saying that you can go without SEO, but SEO is not the first marketing avenue you should explore. Until you have a, a budget where you can afford to put away a certain amount of money, let's say six to $800 a month, maybe a little bit more, and know that you're not going to see immediate returns from that SEO work that they're going to be doing on your website, that is the thing you need to know before you start investing into SEO because it's going to take months, maybe even a year or two before you reaching an organic listing or ranking that is seeing a return on the investment that you're making in your SEO. So those are, those are some of the things that I wanted to talk about. The other things I wanna dive into are some of the free marketing and we kind of listed some of those at the beginning of this video social media marketing is huge if you can get into facebook neighborhood groups if you can get into instagram if you can get into linkedin um, next door is also another great one facebook neighborhood groups is unique in the sense that you don't have to run ads you don't have to spend money and you can find and target people that are specifically looking for your service simply by going inside that group once you're accepted do not post ads or anything like that that'll get you kicked out, but just go to the search bar at the top of that group and simply search uh, recommendations for pressure washing, recommendations for window cleaning, recommendations for gutter cleaning, and it will actually pull up neighbors in your area that have been trying to find someone that their other neighbors would recommend. At that point, you can introduce yourself in the comments section um, or leave a review there for your company and they can see that and then they'll be able to respond to you and you can you can reach out to them through private message and figure out how to schedule an estimate for them. So that's a great way to do it. Um, I, I know a couple of people that actually use Facebook Messenger and send Facebook Messenger campaigns in addition to their Facebook ads. Uh, so Facebook Messenger is a great way to reach out to property managers, uh, real estate agents and things of that nature. So if you're looking for more of the commercial work and less of the residential, that may be a route that you want to take. Um, so I just briefly wanted to go over a few of these things and kind of dive into a couple of them with you because I get so many questions about the, the sales and marketing aspect of the business and really trying to keep it consistent. I think people need to understand that marketing is a full-time job within the company, right? It's not, oh, I'll market when I'm not washing. Oh, I'll market when I have time because what happens is you, you get really busy and then all of a sudden you're really slow. And it's because when you were getting busy, you weren't pumping out any more marketing. And so therefore two weeks later, you start to see the drop off. And so uh, it's a consistency thing. You wanna consistently stay marketing. You wanna make sure that even in the winter time, you're not cutting off things. Google ads is a great thing to run year round because if they're not clicking on it, then you're not paying for it. So. I hope that some of this can kind of clarify any questions that you may have or help you 
uh, make some decisions moving forward on what you would like to use and what you wouldn't like to use. If you have any questions for us, uh, as always, you can comment below and we'll get back to you. You can also email us info at tradeschoolconsulting.com. If you email us, we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. And of course, please subscribe to the video, the channel, and like the video for us. This will let you know whenever we drop another video uh, that it's coming out and you'll be able, one of the first ones to be able to watch it. So thank you again. I hope that it helps you guys wash on. I'll talk to you later. Oh, 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 oh,